Hey Rosen, I just installed Enable Wireless Access on one of my younger robots, and you know how it is. It seems like a good idea to connect to random access points because viruses only hit bad robots. Long story short, despite programming it to always monitor downloads and make safe connections, I think my robot may have contracted E-Aids. Anything you can do to help? Junior Research Assistant Dr. Gravity Here's my advice. Tell your robot to get itself defragmented and to inform all the data ports it may have interfaced with over the last month to get themselves scanned. It's the responsible thing to do. Rosen Do EMPs work on those damn kids skateboarding on my street? If so, can we use one? Research Assistant Reject EMPs only nail electronic stuff. Unless those teens are androids, that wouldn't work. I would recommend using an actual magnet, a large one, and have it target the screws holding the wheels together, or however those death traps work. I'll refer to you to engineering for any help you need getting that set up. Rosen. Do EMPs work on jail guards? Research Assistant Reject. Rosen. Do me a favor and re-enable my status. Pat was a jackass lunatic, but he was thorough. I've been dodging misdirected quote-unquote demonstration the D-class orders since Pat threw his hissy fit. Also, I may or may not have sent this through someone else's workstation, as mine has attempted to kill me on three different occasions despite not having any self-propelling mechanism. Dr. Martin Engineer Cap Yeah, about that. You see, Pat was pretty anal about his security protocols. So much so, that he didn't disengage them before he mysteriously disappeared. I've been going through his notes to try and find what he actually did but most of it is just him ranting about somebody named Dumont the Destroyer and long-winded eulogies about pudding. The best I can do is transfer you to work that exempts you from the monthly execution until I get this figured out. How does Procedure 110 Montauk sound? Rosen Hey Rosen, my computer was being a little slow a minute ago, so I tried to increase the voltage that the computer received to around 10 kilowatts more. I thought it made sense because more power makes more energy, right? Well, it didn't work. I tried looking online for a fix, and they suggested I delete something called Win32. After doing that, I kept getting errors or something like that. A colleague of mine told me he could format the BIOS for me, and I graciously accepted. Yet that still did not work. I have tried many fixes, and right now my computer is kind of on fire. I'm not worried about that, though. How can I make my computer work again? Maybe to where I can make it faster. Dr. Taylor Try to download some more RAM. If that doesn't work, reformat your zip drive. If all else fails, reboot it twice and call me in the morning. Rosen Rosen? For some reason, my inbox keeps getting spam sent to it. The strangest thing about it is that they all say something along the lines of, To the past me, X with the X being something mundane that apparently has harsh consequences on the future. I've done all the things that it says will cause the disruption of the timeline, and so far nothing of ill consequence has happened. Should I chalk this up as a prank, or should I be worried? Dr. Nyakat I wouldn't worry about it. Going over your personnel file, there's no way that you're ever going to do anything of consequence, so your future self or one of your co-workers, it's probably just playing a joke on you. Rosen Hey Rosen, should I take the red pill or the blue pill? Dr. Epsilon If strange men in trench coats are offering you pills, you have bigger issues to worry about than what your friendly neighborhood tech support thinks. Rosen My caps lock key is stuck, what do I do? Dr. Edison Try holding down the shift key while typing until I can requisition you a new keyboard. Perhaps see if one of your co-workers will loan you one. If you can, try to unstick the button, or just start shouting all the time when you talk to people, so they read your text in your loud voice. Rosen Saluto T. Rosen In nomine patris et eper et spiritus sancti queso Ego sum habens difficultatum 
Usurum Artificio Anima Inspectionum Quote Dissititur Ad Site uh, 12 Utskitus Nostri Doctrinius Enum Contemnatium De Quadum Requiem Ella Actions A Humana Singorium Q Demonstrati Air Appropriate Gradu Pietis Dum Normalis Usu Ferrat Confirmare et tempter fidum pertinent singularum per inquisitionum. Those three reductions and numerum elite non requititur uti processus mechanon mechanica est electrica ad automate inquisito, or something like that. Those three artificio. Inquisitum non ipsos propri. Consulum ergo assertit apostolus et ego nego tamum verbi biliocic be herictis. Hoc est non ita. Art pusunt repari per in positium manus aut. Exorcismi Opus Best Roman Christi Pater Gomez S3 Keplanius Institutionum 12 If you're looking for an exorcist, you've really come to the wrong place. If you don't mind doing things God might find as pleasurable, like allowing undead ten zombies to possess your stuff, I'm sure the Church of the Broken God would be all over that like cultist flies on a holy shit. Auxilium. Hello, Mr. Rosen. I have many names. My operator has named me Bello the Unwavering, even when I insisted on being named my natural name. I am sending this message to you for help. Get me away from this maniac, Dr. Taylor. He tries to insert baloney into my CD drive, even when I plead him not to. This ridiculous name that he has signed me has been burned into my artificial memory. His browser history is enough to drive one to madness. He drops food over the monitor and keyboard. As technical researcher, I hope you will take pity on a sentient computer and reassign me to another, more competent user. Bellu the Unwavering I have requisitioned Dr. Taylor another computer. His old computer has been put into storage and cataloged as an anomalous object. Until such a time comes when I have a use for a snobby computer box. Any more of these, Taylor, and you're going to be paying for them. Rosen Dear Sir, It seems our correspondence route with our own technical support has fallen victim to a temporal anomaly. We of the American Security Containment Initiative can do very little to remedy this, and would much appreciate assistance from your end. Regards, B. Franklin, ASCII Researcher Nice try, but I happen to know that Benjamin Franklin was mourning the death of his wife Deborah in 1774, and would not have had the time to look into computer box techie matters. Checkmate fake news. Rosen My Deborah? Dead? This year? Bloody hell, man. When? B. Franklin, ASCII researcher. You're a smart guy. You'll figure it out. Rosen Roseman. My pornography collection got erased from my gateway. Can you retrieve it? Agent Convit. Look over here. We got ourselves a wise guy. Well, Mr. Convit, I regret to inform you that your computer's files were all irretrievable, so I had your computer disposed of. Not to worry, because this time tomorrow a brand new e-machine will arrive at your disk. Just for you. You're welcome. As for the redacted on your drive. You're a sick man! Not criminally sick, but sick nonetheless. Rosen Rosen Another problem that may or may not be related to senior staff shenanigans. Someone did an in-place reinstall of every one of my computers, including my personal laptop somehow, made Internet Explorer 7 the default and only browser, and revoked my software installation permissions on all of them. 
as my work requires extra precautions against drive-by downloads and other viruses. I need Firefox reinstalled, or at least unlock my account so I can do it myself, because Adblock Plus is the only workable solution I've found to prevent them from even reaching the system, since the antivirus won't catch it in time to prevent data expunged. How the heck did they get access to my laptop? It's at home for crying out loud. Dr. Okagawa It seems your problem is that your computer is too desirable, and people keep messing with it as a result. As such, I have replaced your computers with a complete suite of web TV applications. Then I went ahead and replaced the laptop with a Commodore PET. Then I forgot what I came in your office to do, so I ate your lunch and called it a day. I hope it resolves your tampering issues. Rosen The janitor's Roomba won our damn NCAA bracket. Can you deactivate it so that I can claim my rightful prize? Agent Convit Dude! The Roomba has had that bracket on lock for the last four years. Don't see why you're so upset. And even if I wanted to deactivate it, the Ethics Committee says that would make your office a hazardous working environment. Just let it go. Rosen Rosen, that damn D-Class dropped me into an email on 713 and sent it to my own laptop. Get me out of here! A pissed off researcher. I guess I'll just go through every laptop on site looking for you, since it must be urgent if you don't tell me who or where you are. I'll be right on it. Rosen Hey Rosie, my computer terminal stole my Wavuzula somehow. Tell me if you see it about, won't you? Junior Agent Lucas Good news! I killed two birds with one stone by fixing both of your problems. Bad news. The stone in that analogy is the big rock I keep in my office, and the birds were your computer and monitor, so yeah, problem solved. Rosen So I found my friend's computer, and I decided to hack it. So instead of writing that they're gay on their Facebook, I'm going to put porn on their laptops. Aren't I being incredibly clever and hilarious and original? Agent Convit See? I know you're lying to me, Convit, because we're not so different, you and I. Friendless. Alone. About the only difference is my obsession with puttering about with old computers, and yours are pornographic pursuits. The difference between us being, my skills aren't going to get me fired when tech support reports me for workplace sexual harassment. Rosen Rosen, I know what you're thinking. Why does Taylor insist on writing to me? Does he need a gateway today again? Rosen, I know what you're thinking. Why does Taylor insist on writing to me? Does he need a gateway today again? Well, no, but I still need help. See, I'm not the superstitious kind of guy, so to keep the meddlers out, I tried to make a machine that would drop a stepladder on anyone who walked into my office. Unfortunately, I forgot about this, and did not turn it off before entering. Long story short, I have a spinning headache, though that may be just the stitches above my skull breaking. There's a video starring Sasha Gray on my computer, which is now covered in what I only hope is rather viscous milk. And my pants are nowhere to be found. Talk about bad luck! So Rosen, what do? Dr. Taylor No to all personnel whom it may concern. Dr. Taylor is officially banned from requisitioning any new equipment from the IT department. After three separate towers, four monitors, and God knows how many repairs, I am throwing in the towel. Taylor, you will have to make do with what you have. Rosen Um, hey, say hypothetically, someone were to code a desktop with 447 goop, where would it take the most trouble to get off? Assistant Researcher Fairbairn Why would you want to get that stuff removed? As long as your desk isn't made of dead bodies, it's going to give you fantastic performance increases. Actually scratch that. Your computer is ruined and I requisition do a replacement. Come by my office any time to pick it up and drop the old one off. Rosen The dreadlords of the unspoken citadel require additional acoustic glyphs to properly contain excess ether, produced by the epic necromantic rituals used to keep the Screaming Man bound within Gaspar's revenants. The glyphs must be sent via carrier pigeon in the dead of night no sooner than All Hallows' Eve, for fear of awakening those who sleep beyond dreams. Ziffbach's Lightbane, 
Foundation Grand Dreadlord. Dr. Edro, did you get into the 420J again? Rosen. Ever heard of reeking? It's a sound that guinea pigs make. Unfortunately, it's not a sound that the voice commands except on my computer. Or any computer, for that matter. Do you know how hard it is to type on a full-size keyboard when you're 22 centimeters in length? I have ordered you a novelty-sized keyboard that should fit your… needs. It's basically a big slab of plastic. It's supposed to be peanut butter proof so you can run around and push buttons and let loose the… things guinea pigs make to your heart's content. You're welcome. Rosen. There is bodily fluids on my things, help! Agent Convict. There are stupids on my page, help! Rosen. I'm not sure if you're the one I should be talking to about this, but there appears to be a large, angry squid inside my monitor. The problem is, it just gets, let's say, uncooperative when I try to get it out. Should I try something else, or just ignore it and hope it goes away? Dr. Marvel. That is a screensaver, Dr. Marvel. There are no sea creatures living in your computer. Remember when we had our little talk over the crazy ball that was bouncing around in there? Or when the computer had frozen your family and was holding them hostage on an exact copy of your timeshare in Bangor? This is like that. Rosen Okay, how about… Could you either get me a keyboard small enough for a guinea pig to use easily? or have the computer systems recognize weaking and voice commands. The huge keyboard just made things worse. I'm still not sure what weaking is, but we got some pretty universal noise detect software. I sent a copy your way, along with a standard headset mic setup. Hope that works out for you. Rosen Hello, IT. We are down at Site Blank, Memetics Lab 12C and we were wondering if there is a way to revert a desktop background image without looking at the screen. It seems someone opened a rather nasty visual memetic and managed to set it to the background. This would normally not be a problem, but several files are needed on the hard drive. We've already lost several researchers, and the first tech that tried. For now the screen is unplugged, but we have no way of resetting the desktop. Help? Junior Assistant Researcher Blank current acting head researcher of Memetics Lab 12C. Step 1. Remove hard drive. Step 2. Place monitor on a flat, dry surface, away from pets or small children. Step 3. Obtain hammer. Step 4. Apply percussive maintenance to monitor with maximum velocity. Rosen. The public printer near the cafeteria convinced me to build it limbs and a mobile power supply after which he took my stun gun and left me on the ground drooling. When I came to, it was gone, so basically I'm asking if you have seen that traitor's little recall. Assistant Iman. Tagged and bagged, my friend. Next time, try not to be so susceptible to a printer promising marble cake in exchange for freaking sweet augs. Rosen. Hey, did one of you guys see that new guy in IT come by just a few days ago? This chainsaw is starting to get kinda heavy. Agent Convict. Groovy. Rosen. Um, Rosen? The microwave in the eating quarters came to life again. Unplugging it didn't work this time. It's trying to kill me. Apparently because I put that fork inside of it that one time. I'm currently hiding on top of the refrigerator. But I don't think I'll be safe for long. Help! Dr. Nick Hat. Have you tried to, you know, walk away from it? Microwaves aren't exactly known for their mobility. Rosen Memorandum to all staff As of June 25, 2012, Senior Technical Researcher David Rosen has been temporarily relieved from his duties due to ongoing behavior and disciplinary infractions that have recently come to light. Asshole thinks he can get away with putting those files on the net. As such, Dr. Adam Taylor and A. Corpse will be handling the department until he returns. They will also take care of his backlog. Director Tilda D. Moose I demand popcorn and virgins! The microwave. Greetings, O oh great and powerful master of electromagnetic waves. 
Fiend of Appliances and Bane of Meatloaf. Attached to this document are 517 individual popcorn kernels, as required by Foundation Protocol regarding the maintenance and sustenance of malicious sentient kitchenware. See attached documents 127-F-1287 and SGD-133774-ND. The burgeons that you have requested will be delivered to your facility upon completion and deliveries of Forms 1362-182-A-N, 2HF-3-1723N, 163722-IHFT-1928-A-F, and 2A 2331-1223-1221443223 Sections 232-578 All deliveries of said forms must be made within 7 business days via Foundation First Class Parcel Post to Foundation Appliance Maintenance, located within sublevel G of Site Blank. All forms must be completed by hand in triplicate using a black ink rollerball type .5mm pen. We appreciate your cooperation in this matter and hope that you are successful in your endeavors. A Corpse I'm getting a… an Ethernet cord has become disconnected error here. Everything is connected on my end, so I'm guessing this might be a problem in your server room or however these things work. Any idea? I have some file work that needs to be sent to another site, so the sooner the better. Field Agent Beam Yeah, about that. I recommend you send it through the parcel post. Maybe put it on one of those disky thingies, if it's too much data for a floppy. Things might take a bit to sort out on the server end. Rosen got a bit drunk and messed about a bit with the wiring before he left. A Corpse Who is your favorite black person? Agent Convict. I… What? This is not technical? A Corpse Researcher Eisenberg here. Some fuck messed with my computer as a part of some fucking prank. Must have been during lunchtime. I'm not particularly eager to use Ubuntu 10.04, especially since the fucking automatic sampler only has drivers for Solaris 8. Well, had, since all the files in my home folder are currently named links.links, some fucking number. Need it fixed somehow before the next set of samples need to be run through at 4. Thanks in advance. Agent Links. Hey Eisenstein, so I heard you needed a new computator. Thing is, I don't really know what a Ubuntu is, nor am I even sure what language that word originates from. Is it Swahili? I bet it's Swahili. It's almost always Swahili. Anyway, since we don't have any of those, I went into the storeroom and got you something to stand in so you can get that cat-based one sorted. It's a uh, Victor something. Twenty? I don't really know. The label's sorta of weird-like. Anywho, enjoy. A Corpse. Damn it, this is not fair. I've been trying to get myself reinstated as something above janitor level ever since that whole business with Pat, and now I find out other people are getting the assignments. What does a man have to do when it's been confirmed that he would wrongly demonstration just to get bumped back up? On another note, since I've had to choose between leaving the Foundation and dealing with my current duties, I've decided to tough it out. Can someone replace the electronic lock on Supply Closet 3B? It shouldn't even have a speaker on it, but every time I unlock it, the thing yells at me in German. Former Technical Engineer Cap I find that, on the rare occasion, that a man such as yourself, being of the janitorial persuasion, seeks to make great gains within this by all means indifferent and bureaucratic organization of ours, the best thing to do is to raise yourself up by the bootstraps put on a brave face, get down to the nitty-gritty, and sabotage the competition. Put smart bombs in their Captain Crunch. Add Vaseline to their gun cleaner. Heck, just go along and pop a needle chock full of a little bit of liquid cyanide between their oh-so-comfy covers. You do whatever it takes, son. Whatever it takes. In regards to your secondary, but of equal import a questionation. I recommend that you get Mr. Klopson down in engineering to have a look at the fellow. If anyone knows sentient cabinetry of German make, it'll be Klopson. I heard that he once talked a deranged ceiling fan off a ledge. Yep, that Klopson is one heck of a talker. 
saying that most everything he says is gibberish. Best regards, A Corpse. Note, I don't know what the damn date is. Can someone let me out of here? It's dark, cold, and very boring. Also, my chains are really starting to chafe. Rosen. Rosen, for the last time, take off those chains. We've told you time and time again that we're not bringing you anyone who's down for some kinky business at all. If you didn't bring the damn key in with you, then you deserve the chafe until you can be cleared. Also, how did you manage to get network access in an isolation chamber? Let me know. Dr. Taylor What's the best way of getting a computer keyboard out of a tank of… you know? Dr. Edison Getting it out by yourself? Because there's no way that I'm doing it. Oh, what a shame. We ran out of gloves just a couple seconds ago, while you were reading this reply rather than getting the gloves that I never told you about. People just don't know how to do things themselves, honestly. Dr. Taylor So, I was playing around with some beakers the lab boys gave me, and I accidentally turned my pair into a laptop. Should I shoot it or keep it? It keeps saying it will have the fall of humanity soon. Agent Thesson Well, I wouldn't recommend hooking the little monster up to any ICBMs, if that's what you mean. All in all, though, most sentient, malicious computational devices tend to be relatively harmless, just so long as the computer isn't too powerful and doesn't have a robo-gun hooked up to it. Tell you what, if it works, keep it, and if it demands crackers, give it crackers. Just don't you be hooking that abomination up to the network. You would not believe the kind of sick bullshit a parrot looks at in its free time. A corpse. Having issues with SCP-Net. Whenever I try to submit a report, the program freezes them BSODs. Clef. Well, I don't really know what the problem could be. The program itself is usually pretty solid. It is, however, possible that you've got some sort of buyer. External user disconnect. Error. 8HGDSY6-7687SDG Feed me crackers. A corpse. Scrack! Hey, do you know why my code sequences keep getting rewritten? I've got them backed up on my server, but I think one of the other researchers, or a skip, are recompiling and screwing with my recursive algorithms. Now half the hotlinks on the server are down, and there's… A bunch of blinky lights next to a couple of the containment displays. Also, the algorithms have filled up 67 petabytes with junk data that I can't erase. No hurry, though. Technician Bryant. 67 petabytes? Shouldn't be too hard to erase. Just open up a task manager and… wait. A petabyte is apparently pretty damn huge, according to this guide. Huh. One petabyte is a million gigabytes. Anyway, I have dealt with this before. Just use my five-step program to fixing a computer. Results may vary. 1. Practice your backswing a little. 2. Go to the tallest point in the facility near an unbroken window. 3. Put your defective piece of hardware on your tee. 4. Draw a smiley face on the window. Spray paint or sharpie. Either will do. 5. Smash the window's face in with the hardware. Then ask Rosen to give you a new one. Dr. Taylor I know that I'm bad with any sort of coding, but I don't even know how this could possibly happen. I was tweaking the code of one of my programs to find out why it was running all weird, and now there's an image of a monitor of what looks like Winnie the Pooh stuck in a hole with the words, HELP I'M STUCK written above it in a book typeface. I didn't want to requisition another computer, since it would be a hassle and this one's probably still perfectly functional, but I still need to finish my work, and I can't see a damn thing with a huge animated bear ass in the way. Could you get rid of it, please? Junior Researcher Chibi Chances are, you activated the Feed Bear Honey subroutine somewhere along the way. Now he's too fat to get out of the hole. You'll have to wait a while for him to slim down. By no means are you to feed him any more honey, no matter how much he pleads. There's no telling what he can do if he reaches critical honey mass, but I can very certainly guess they'll make a Godzilla-style documentary based off of it. I imagine that Oprah Winfrey will guest star in it. Dr. Taylor ah!
Uh... Congratulations, brave and noble hacker. Through your intelligent and clever use of intellect and raw, unadulterated cunning, you have successfully left me completely dumbfounded and at an utter loss for words. Seriously though, I don't think you understand. This is officially the most intelligent thing I have ever seen. Men could live for centuries, for millennia, gathering the knowledge and wisdom of their lands and many others, and still not reach the level of ability that is presented here. The magnificence of the thing, the sheer wonder that such a majestic creation can bestow upon its lowly and unworthy mortals, is far beyond the grasp of a mere man such as myself. I would thank you, but I believe to even involve myself with thee within society would be to ask too much, for I feel that one of such ability as yours is not fit for communication with mere men. Please, fine sir, do not attempt to contact me again. I feel that the magnificence of your presence would be too much for myself to bear. A corpse. Hypothetically, in the instance that one of the janitors were to wander into a lab and be digitized by a combination of experiments which were in the room completely coincidentally, and then in another completely unrelated accident uploaded to an unknown network through a number of proxies, which disk of SCP-335 would said janitor most likely be stored upon, and what would be the best method of retrieval? This is a purely hypothetical situation, of course, and I am, of course, completely not at fault for this having occurred around noon in this completely imaginary situation. Assistant Iman. Had this hypothetically happened at exactly 12.14 pm, and had you supposedly been around and unwilling to aid your fellow co-worker, then I would suggest looking for the one with that might have his name on it. Of course! If you had coincidentally been recorded by yours truly, and if you perhaps enjoyed living, then I would very highly recommend that you go to room 386 with around $2,000 and $50 bills. Come alone, hypothetically. Dr. Taylor. Totally not Dr. Taylor. My computer literally shitting itself. What do? Dr. GW. It appears that your computer has caught a virus of some variety possibly of extra-dimensional origin, that has resulted in a severe case of the runs. Personally, I recommend you buy yourself a new computer, but according to Foundation Protocol Document TD-132725-AYWT, it is required that in the event of an extra-normal technical element or flaw, the affected machine be submitted to the research department for study. Personally, I recommend the office of Dr. Hendrickson largely on account of him having consumed a sandwich from the break room that was quite clearly labeled as belonging to someone else. Make sure to sanitize your desk as well. A Corpse Hey Taylor and Corpse, first off congrats. Hope Rosen didn't leave any landmines. What did happen to him anyway? But I digress. My problem is this. I walked away from my computer to get a drink. I come back, and some bastard has shoved a banana into the tower. Before I wreck a new one, is there any fix? Also, since the sniggering two offices down kinda hints as to who did it, best way to beat the crap out of somebody without it being known? Dr. Axe. External Override Meso J9099-8746153030 SecureNet B1 Loading. Access granted. Well, you know what they say. You can't keep a good researcher down. Especially when you don't change the passwords. I mean seriously, word pass 123 is non secure password for the Brig Cell Bay. But I digress. I would recommend running fruitofthedoom.exe on any affected drives. That should eject any buildup of fruit matter from the system. As for your wise guy co worker, have you tried introducing him to my favorite fruit? A tomato? Rosen. Rosen, you returned. Welcome back, your idea worked. Thanks. Feel bad for the janitor assigned to clean up though, Dr. Axe. Glad to hear it. If you've got anything that might help prove my innocence, that'd be just a real good way to make it up to me. Rosen. I am petitioned to organize an on-site Bring Your Kids to Work Day. Does the security software attached to the server allow for the installation of additional programs across the board? 
Junior Researcher Walsh. Okay, I have no idea about the security thing, but you want to take your kids to work? A place where the smallest twitch of the smallest muscle can result in multiple fatalities, adult and children? Not to mention the possibility of one of them wandering their way into a terrible, terrible place that could mentally scar them for however many lives they could go through with the knowledge of the evil we contain? Where to assign? Dr. Taylor. Say, I'm sending a couple of the robotic speedboats with gravit arms into the Danube Delta to catch something that seems to cause death to everyone within 40 meters of it. My postdoc is an serious gamer. Can we hook up the robots to a PS3 controller, make chasing it while firing tranquilizer darts easier? Dr. Gallo I tried to do that, but it seems like nothing worked. So I picked up some random junk from Rosen's personal stuff and hit it with a hammer until the wires went in. That didn't work either, but I did find an RC remote controller. Do what you can with it. Hopefully Rosen won't miss those things I hit with a hammer, that being all of them. Dr. Taylor, world's worst assistant. I hate you so much right now, Taylor. Rosen. Notice, as it has been proven that researcher Rosen was not, in fact, responsible for the presence of gross data on his drives, he has been reinstated with the apologies of administration for the trouble. Anybody with information on the perpetrator should report it to their supervisor immediately. Director Tilda D. Moose. Damn it! Since when do security bots know how to use Wii remotes? And since when do said remotes move junior researchers? I've been ducking under the nuts all day, Dr. Axe. It appears that some of Dr. Taylor's creations have spread outside the tech support offices. Not to worry, because my crack team of Wacknitions are busy deploying highly sophisticated and not at all mallet-related decommissions on all rogue equipment. Rosen. Dear Rosen, my iPhone was infected with some kind of bug, and now it won't stop buzzing around my office. Please tell me what to do. Researcher Quandry Your phone appears to have been set to the vibrate function. The buzzing sound was somebody attempting to contact you. I have since changed your ringtone and all the alert tones to some soothing Mongolian throat singing. You can thank me later. Rosen Hey Rosen. I'm having a bit of a problem with the computer in my office. Over the past few days, I've been hearing a tinking sound coming from somewhere. I got back from lunch today, and I could have sworn the pointer was tapping against the screen. It looks like there's a tiny crack in the corner where it was doing this. Not quite sure what I'm dealing with here. Agent Ferris Your computer has a virus made by zombies that turns people who stare at it too long into zombies so you have to destroy the computer and any zombies it's made before it's too late. I would suggest using duct tape on a kayak thing and some cane saws like in Dead Rising 2, and using it to kill the zombies because that would be awesome. Assistant Technical Researcher James, age 8 Who let kids in here? I've replaced your monitor. Rosen Mr. Rosen I was recently diagnosed with Explosive Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. Long story involving a body mod SCP, and would appreciate it if I could get an ergonomic keyboard and mouse. After the last two times my hands were blown off by micro-explosions in my wrist, the medical department says they won't reattach them again. Professor Bjornsson Certainly. I've spoken to the boys downstairs, and we've come up with the perfect solution. This keyboard is so tough that even if your wrist were blown to smithereens only inches away from the QWERTY, it wouldn't even have a scratch. Also, we've used the same technology we used to clean up after those messy SCPs to make it chunk-proof, so when your hands go blind due to premature detonation, you can be satisfied with the knowledge that your keyboard will still be fully functional. Rosen Dear Rosen, It hurts when I pee. Not quite sure what I'm dealing with here. Agent Convict that's what you get for dry humping herpes bot, Rosen. My computer keeps flashing white every two minus, and opening random tabs. I don't know what's going on, but it seems to be causing weird edits to any report I'm typing up at the time. The text changes color, font, and size, and what's worse, my Britishisms keeps being changed to Americanisms. Researcher Lloyd. 
The software error you are experiencing is called autocorrect. Common symptoms of this error include colored fonts, sudden insertion of line breaks into paragraphs, and replacement of the fake extra letters and removal of fake words, words like lorry or color. Rosen. Rosen, can you please explain to me why all my image files were swapped with pictures of SCP-050? Dr. Agent Quandry. If you're so smart with your double major double agent combo, then you should be able to figure it out on your own. Rosen. <laughs>